Hey everyone, welcome to this episode of Rockstar Eater. This is Steve and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to eat Korean barbecue. But not just any Korean barbecue, but all you can eat Korean barbecue. And Korean barbecue, especially in the all you can eat category, is really popular in many major cities across the US. And maybe some of you guys are still new to Korean barbecue, especially all you can eat. So if you were to go to one of these restaurants, how can you eat in a way in which you can get your money's worth and you could really eat like a pro and that's what I'm going to be showing you in this episode with a few key important tips that you should know when you're eating all you can eat Korean barbecue in order to maximize your eating experience. When you order at a Korean barbecue restaurant choose wisely. As you notice in the menu you'll be going to a Korean barbecue restaurant where you'll have like either one set price menu or you'll have like different options of like A, B or C and usually they want to upsell you on C because it has like the most variety and people get so excited because they think like they can choose from all these different types of meats and all these appetizers. Well, let me tell you, uh, just skip that. Just go with A because a lot of Korean people just only eat like few very basic choices like their beef brisket, the pork belly, the short ribs. I mean all that chicken and all that seafood stuff. I mean it's really not stuff that Koreans like eat so so often at Korean barbecue restaurants and then the second tip is to go light on all the extra fluff so what I mean by that is when you come to an all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue restaurant you're, you're gonna notice that some of them have like buffets and some of them have like all these different items on the menu that's really meant to distract you from eating the main thing so they're gonna have like teriyaki chicken and they're gonna have like mandu which is like dumplings and ramen noodles and all this stuff don't go for that really that's just uh, you're just you don't come to a Korean barbecue restaurant in order to eat that so I would say skip all that fluff that's right there and stick to the main stuff which is all the barbecue beefs and porks that's what you should really be going for in an all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue restaurant and then tip number three when you order meats start off with the lighter meats like the ones that are less uh, marinated like the ones that are not marinated at all actually so you need to you should always start with the ones that are the uh, less heaviest and then work your way to the heaviest and that's kind of like the way they do that at sushi restaurants as well like in omakase restaurants so when you go to an all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue restaurants I would recommend that you start off with what's called charobege which is the thinly sliced beef brisket and then uh, beef tongue is also really good as well if that's something that's on the menu and you're open to eating that and then another tip that I would recommend is stay away from the rice unless you're a rice lover but be very light on the rice and just try to be very um, focused more on the vegetables like the salads and the salads you're gonna need of course it's healthy but then the salads will also give you more appetite to actually eat the meat so like I said don't fill up on the rice rather go for the salads eat that with the meal along with the side dishes which is the panchan and you're gonna have a really nice crunchy time with both the vegetables and the meats. Tip number five is to cook all the meats until it is well done. I know when you go to steak restaurants they usually tell you that you should be eating your steaks like medium or medium rare to get the best flavor but in Korean barbecue restaurants whether it's all you can eat or non all you can eat you should be cooking the meats until it's really caramelized that's really the best texture of the meat so it really should be looking something like like this where you don't really see much pink all around and you definitely see some of that charred texture on the top that's really how you're gonna get the best flavor of your meat so make sure you cook your meats until it gets to that texture and you'll really enjoy it okay and then tip number six that I would recommend is the dipping sauces you're probably wondering what exactly I should dip my meats on whenever you go to a basic all-you-can-eat cream barbecue restaurant you're gonna get two dipping sauces one is like a salt kind of a mixture with sesame oil and then the other one is kind of like this light soy sauce type of dipping sauce. I would highly recommend that for the beefs like the brisket as well as the carby short ribs you dip it into the soy sauce the sweet soy sauce and then the pork you would dip it into the salt and the sesame oil and another small tip is that when you're cooking the pork the samgyeopsal I would always recommend that you cook some kimchi on 
the side, you know, kind of like barbecue that kimchi because that kimchi actually tastes really good if you eat that together with the pork and then maybe even dip it in that sesame oil with the salt. It makes a really beautiful flavor all around and it's really popular with Koreans as well. And then tip number eight is when you are cutting your meats and this is only when you need to cut the bigger meats like for the brisket and the bulgogi you're not going to have to cut that but if it's something like the pork belly when you cut this meat you have to first of all wait until it is really cooked because if it's not it's going to be really hard to cut this thing and when you're cutting it you should try to cut it by using the base, using the base of the scissors in order so that it can really have the most strength in cutting. So just like that, and then you'll have an easier cut on the meat. So when it gets all this burnt texture that's on top of the grill, then you're gonna need to change it out. Don't be shy to ask because it happens especially after you toss all the marinated meat on top. You don't wanna be mixing the non-marinated meats with all this, you know, grilled, stuff that grilled charred texture that's on top of the grill. So change it out and just get a fresh start with your meats. So if you follow these different tips that I've shown you in this video, then you are gonna have a rockin' time at an all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue restaurant and you are gonna be eating like a pro. Anyways, I hope that has helped you um, so that when you go to an all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue restaurant, you know what to do. If you've liked this video, then please give me a thumbs up. Comment in the section below if you have anything else you would like to suggest to us. And finally, uh, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please uh, subscribe to Rockstar Eater. Subscribing is really the best way in order to get these food adventures and these food educational videos on a weekly basis. Just go to the right hand side, click on the subscribe button, and you'll be getting these episodes on a weekly basis.